Well, guys, we weren't gonna initially check this out, but after many, many requests and the just perpetuating news cycle, we thought we would give our two cents on this Ezra Miller body cam footage. There have been a couple of these angles floating around that apparently shed some new light on the situation overall and maybe paint uh, Ezra Miller in a different light than just the destructive one we've been seeing them in lately. Don't know if this includes the incident in which like a chair was thrown at somebody. I assume not. I don't really know how this would go to justify that because this is a multiple altercation situation. But either way, curious to see what kind of light this sheds on everything we've heard so far. Oh, it's spit in my face. Okay, come over here, come over here. No, I'm nuts right now. Why, what happened? No, nothing. I was, okay. just, playing, I was just playing darts. Okay. And this guy right here. Which one, the one my office? Yeah. Oh, that's it. It's his phone. Okay, so on hey, call him out, hey, call him out, hey, call him out. Just stay over there, okay? No, no, no come no, back no, over no, here, okay? Okay. Hey, that's the car, no? It's your name, yeah. Oh. That's him. Metro 36, so we can tell. Kind of messing with this one. Yeah, it's fine. No, 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 I got assaulted and I started filming. Okay. Let's show you the video. Let's talk stories outside. Let's talk stories outside. Ezra Miller, this is on the warrants, but he's caution code on stable 29 Caucasian I think one thing that is very important to point out, yeah, I remember Stephen Colbert even tweeting about this as well, is that if you go to Yelp on this restaurant's website, that there are a lot of people who are talking about being treated in a way that feels very much like racism, segregation. I guess we gotta keep that in mind as well when watching this. I just thought that was a fair thing to address. I got assaulted in this bar twice in a row. I filmed myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. What's your name? What's your badge number? <laughs> NFT you crypto your art. White key. Ezra. Full name, full badge number. Tell me your name and your badge number. Tell me your name and your badge. Wait, what? What does he mean by films himself for NFT crypto work? I feel like that's a sarcastic joke unless he's really putting these things up on the blockchain and having people buy them as unique digital art. <laughs> I'm sure someone would buy it, but I also feel like that's probably just a sarcastic crack. Tell me your name and your badge. Tell me your name and your badge number now. Damn. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> he sounds enraged. Ezra, come over here. Tell us what happened. Hey, bro. Hey. What is your name? Huh? What is your name? Alexa. Yeah, what is your name? I cannot tell you my name. Why? Uh, I just like to know what happened. No, this brother. I was playing darts. Okay. And then what? And uh, we we my good girl. Okay. And he called right up to me and just like he started shouting. No, and no. I I not just spit on you. Okay, so he spit in your like, face. Two. And I was okay. like, oh, what's up, cuz? Okay. Like, what's up? Okay. And then I jumped in and held him back. <laughs> yeah? You so know, he's spitting your face for no reason? For, yeah. I was like way across the Yeah. Okay. I feel like he thought he was somebody else. Did chase him No, I mean like he's not it's cooperative. Not if, you guys, if, if you guys don't light him up. Yeah, if you guys don't light him up, I gonna light him up. No, you oh. like, No, but still, I, you know, I feel kill cop. I know. That, you that's um, disrespectful. Right, right. Uh, I'm not talking okay, about Jesus. I mean, that is a pretty nasty threat. If you guys don't light him up, I'm gonna light him up. Yeah, I that's mean, a, that's, that's a regression. <laughs> if the guy is telling the truth, though, about how he was just doing his thing and then he was spit on while he was doing his thing, I could understand someone verbally saying something that aggressive. I've been in situations where people have threatened my life before over the stupidest things. <laughs> and so I can imagine something like that. It could be enough to get someone to verbally say that, not saying it's okay. I don't know, it doesn't bode well for this individual, I guess, in, in this particular moment, but let's keep going. Damn, they got far. Wait, so was he... F was Ezra fleeing from the police? That's the sense I get, yeah. Especially if no one gave him a name or a badge number. Sensor 
Patrol, four train. What do we have blue noise? Central 131. I mean, just I mean, arrested for disorderly conduct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was assaulted. Okay. 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 Thank you. 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 I did. Uh, 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 looks. I don't think he was complying. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, you're know, like <laughs> half a mile away. Okay. So. Okay. Ezra just said that the guy in the bar declared himself as a Nazi and attacked attacked Ezra. I mean, that that does change the narrative around significantly if this person is a self-declared Nazi. I guess the reason why I wanted to point out the things earlier because I heard that kind of factors in to this story that Ezra's saying upon their arrest. With Ezra identifying, I believe, as Jewish, I can imagine that is something where Ezra would feel the need to probably stand up, attack, fight. Was Ezra the one who instigated the fight? themselves you know so that's kind of like a big question at hand here hmm. it's really hard to read the situation because we're not here for any of it <laughs> you well, know? yeah it's just two people's words and i mean if ezra if they were assaulted then that's one thing you know because it just changed who the provoker is so i mean if that's the case then at least for this isolated scenario you could yeah understand i don't know it's just their word against the other guy what did i do wrong a guy in that bar declared himself as a Nazi. I have it on film and he attacked me. Okay, so? I claim my Ninth Amendment rights to not be unlawfully persecuted for a crime of no designation. Disorderly conduct being something I am unguilty of. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched and seized on no probable cause that you will not be able to offer in a court of law. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched and seized. I just got a law back. Okay. You'll get it right now. I claim my Fourth Amendment sir, rights to not be right searched and okay. seizure. Flash ring. Right unlawfully here. without probable cause. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be unlawful. Hey, you just touched my penis. Please don't do that. No, I'm not transgender, non binary. Oh. I don't want to be searched by a man. I'm transgender, non binary, and I don't want to be searched by a man. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights. Ooh. Those are Nerf guns, just in case you worry that they're bullets. Those are Nerf bullets. Thank you for letting me They are me fake and they are a toy. Thank you for letting me This is my belt know. buckle and my Nerf bullets. I appreciate that. Please That's just laughing. <laughs> yeah. Flash ring means a lot. Look, I'm not one to speak for transgender, I, although I believe everyone in the trans community has equal rights. Something about that felt like weaponizing that identity at a certain moment, if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what he, what I don't know what they felt versus what is there on camera, obviously. I'm not going to say that their experience is just flat out wrong or whatever, but, but yeah, I mean, at that moment in time, it almost feels like anything and everything I can use at my disposal to to get them to stop, which on the one hand I understand, and on the other hand, I, I don't know, like the situation is still v unclear enough to me that I can't quite tell who's in the in the right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if that guy in the bar was a Nazi and actually, you know, started something with Ezra, then, then I understand, generally speaking. I mean, it seems like they were also a little drunk, <laughs> so that plays in. I still think there's at least two other incidences that have not been explained who <laughs> said. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely needs some explanation, especially the most recent one for the second arrest, lunging a chair at someone's head. I believe that person needed like medical attention for that. I don't know how you can excuse that, especially breaking into someone's own residence. Maybe they were Nazis too. I do wonder if there was any particular investigation into what Miller is claiming. It's not uncommon for the media to keep certain things out of the news. It only seemed fair that if we were going to talk about the other things, we should probably at least address this side of things as well. Regardless, I don't think this video makes Ezra look good. At the same time, I'm like, you know, if I was in this situation, if I felt like this is, I mean, wrongfully accused and wrongfully arrested for something, I would react probably the exact same way and probably with a worse temper. I can't fault that if that is the case, you know, regardless, the, the footage does not look warm for the Flash actor. We'll see what happens. Where do you stand on this? Do you think this helps? Ezra's argument, do you think Ezra should still maintain the title role of The Flash moving forward? Leave your thoughts down below. We will talk with you all soon.